So when it comes to the grenade launcher, yo, that is crazy. Okay, let's go ahead and check out their face when they die. Watch this real quick. That is beautiful right there. That is beautiful. Would you still care to talk to me? So uh, what's up guys, it's Terry here by Nino Quadri and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Multiplayer and Warzone 2 Season 3. For today's video, we're going to be covering a very special store bundle and that's going to be the Tracer Pack Anime Boogie Bundle. This is our first anime Tracer Pack and it's only for 1800 COD points which is actually crazy. It comes with Lilac Katakana Tracers and Red Kanji Anime Death Face effect. And these effects are for the Cronin Squall new battle rifle, the new battle rifle that just dropped, and the TAC-56. They finally gave us a TAC-56 tracer, which is amazing. So yeah, if you guys are excited to see how the tracers look like in-game, see everything that this bundle contains, and anything secretive that you should know about this bundle, make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. I upload store bundles pretty regularly on the channel, the ones that interest me, like tracer packs, any, you know, bundles of cool decals, you know, dope operator skins or whatever the case is. So if you're excited to see some store bundle content, you come to the right channel. I also like to upload Warzone 2 every so often and miscellaneous videos so to kind of keep the variety up. So there's kind of a surprise on this channel every single day that I decide to upload. But that's enough of me plugging myself. Let's go ahead and check out this bundle. So here we have the Electrified Juice Cronin Squall Battle Rifle. And we can actually see that it has Lilac Tracers and the Red Kanji Anime Death Face Effect. And let's go ahead and see the preview real fast. Whoa! So that's the Kanji Anime Effect. You actually see, you actually see like uh, Kanji symbols pop up on there, which is actually pretty dope. It also comes with a unique reticle there on the left as well. So that should be pretty cool. What kind of attachments have we got? Here's the attachment that it comes with, and uh, there's no ammunition, so you can't equip these uh, these tracers to any other uh, weapon, but pretty interesting gun, and I love the detail of the anime girl that's on this uh, weapon. Looks very freaking nice. And here we are with the Anime Tango TAC-56 tracer blueprint. Comes with the exact same tracers as the battle rifle, and if we look at it, the preview, it's pretty much the same. You also see the kanji effect on here as well. It has a nice little reticle on the left uh, there as well. And in terms of attachment, it doesn't have an ammunition, so you can't equip these tracers on any other weapon, sadly. But we finally have our own official TAC-56 tracers, and I love the detail of this anime girl here. But it looks very nice, the art, whoever did the art for it. Very freaking clean, and I can't wait to see how it looks like with camos. We also have the vehicle skin of the panel breaker. We got the Sugoi large decal, which looks like graffiti-like. I love I love the graffiti. It reminds me of like Jet Set Radio style in a sense. We got the loading screen of Last Ditch Melee and the emblem of Many Hats. So all of this for 1800 COD points. The things that I care about is the TAC-56 and the large decal. Everything else is kind of whatever to me, but I'm going to cop it. You know, you guys can see if it's worth it or not for today's video. And yeah, freaking... Amazing anime freaking tag 56. Let's go ahead and check out this bundle in full. Check out the camos on the guns and everything else. Let's rock and roll. So here we are with the Electrified Juice Cronin Squall and the Anime Tangle tag 56. And when it comes to the attachments on this gun, this is how it looks like. But before we cover the camos on these weapons real quick, let's go ahead and talk about the decal. Uh, the decal of Sugoi kind of covers the, uh, the weaponry pretty, uh, you know, a ton on this. So it kind of looks good on this gun because it's all the way on the left there. But if you try to put this on like the TAC-56, it unfortunately is going to cover the anime girl uh, in the middle there. So I just wouldn't recommend the decal on the TAC-56. But on the Cronin Squall, it looks great. And if you're, you're curious how it looks like on other guns, it actually looks really great on this Chimera, especially if you add like the yellow camo. I think the yellow and purple combo is really clean and can add some really great personality to some of your weaponry. So yeah, pretty fire decal if I say so myself. For the purposes of this video, I'm gonna have the decals off of both guns. Even though it doesn't look that bad on the Cronin Squall, it's just because I want you guys to see how it looks like without the decal. So when it comes to the camos of the Cronin Squall, uh, this is how it looks like with its base camos. It looks very good. The anime girl stays there throughout everything. Even with gold, it looks really great. Platinum looks freaking beautiful. Polyatomic really sets the tone. And good old Orion. So throughout all the camos, the, the anime girl stays on there. And then when it comes to the yellow fun camo, it looks really great on this gun with contrasting with the girl there. Uh, when it comes to the solid color camos, it's a very nice like blue look 
uh, that this blueprint gives and combines really well with some of the attack, uh, some of the camos, uh, the solid color camos here, like this white one. The white and blue looks really clean, so that's a W. And then in terms of CDL camos, here's how the uh, the CDL camos look like. And honestly, this is a very fire blueprint if you're a fan of the Cronin Squall, of course. So yeah, pretty pretty freaking amazing gun. And now moving over to the Tag 56 Anime Tango, here we have the attachments once again, and here's how the gun looks like with camos. Here's how it looks like with its base camos, very interesting. Here's how it looks like with gold. Here's how it looks like with platinum. Here's how it looks like with polyatomic, very freaking fresh. And here's how it looks like with Orion. Kind of looks like the anime girl like becomes like translucent when it comes when you put on a camo. It's not like solid like the uh, the Cronin Squall is. So I don't know if you like that or hate that. It's kind of personal preference. Uh, when it comes to the fun camos, here's how the yellow camo looks like with the Tac 56 anime girl anime uh, tack or whatever and then the solid color camos look kind of nice with this uh with this with this sort of look i kind of just like it without a camel to be honest because i don't want the anime girl to be like translucent or whatever but she does stick with all the cdl camos and the event camo so she at least like shows up there but i think her her aesthetic is perfect with the the base look of the uh, the weapon, if that makes any sense. Like, this just looks solid in itself. And now we're gonna go ahead and compare the base blueprints with their meta class setups. So here's the Cronin Squall Electrified Juice with its base blueprint attachments. And here's the Electrified Juice with its meta class setup with all the best attachments in the game. And honestly, it's not that bad. You still have the anime girl on there and it still looks pretty freaking clean in my eyes. Here's the default attachments for the anime Tango Tag 56. And here's the try hard class setup for the anime Tango Tag 56. And luckily the anime girl is still pretty much there. I just opted to use the 40 round mag with the 60 round mag because the 60 round mag be kind of heavy. But if you don't mind the movement, you know, you know, penalties of the 60 round mag, then you could pretty much have the Pretty much the entire gun because all these attachments work really well with the meta class setup for the TAC 56. And I believe that's it. Let's go ahead and head into a game and go ahead and show off the amazing tracers. Okay, so here we are with the Cronin Squall anime blueprint. And it looks really freaking nice with the metallic blue. It looks very freaking fresh. And here we have the anime tango TAC 56 tracer blueprint, which looks absolutely just freaking beautiful, man. Very good looking weapon. Here is the, uh, the the dot in case you're curious. There doesn't seem anything uh, you know crazy about like aiming down sights or anything. And when it comes to the Cronin Squall, uh, nothing special about uh, its red dot either. It's just uh, you know just red and like blue basically. But let's go ahead and check out the tracers. Let's see in the dark right here. So as you can see there, you actually see the kanji as it pops out with every other couple of bullets, which. I think that's pretty freaking dope. I don't know. It's a unique effect that we haven't really seen in this game yet. And yeah, same can be said about the Tac 56. That is such a dope effect, bruh. And now let's go ahead and check out the Tracer's uh, death effect. That is pretty nice. So it's like red. Instead of it being the yellow color or the white color. What the heck? It was like yellow earlier, wasn't it? Does it like change color based on every kill that you get or something? Cause now it's white! Wasn't it yellow before? Or was it with this gun? Hold on. Whoa. Am I tripping? Let's go ahead and check out the Cronin Squall's uh, death effect. See what happens. And once again, you see the kanji in red when you, whenever you body an opponent. Yeah, see, it changes colors. It was, uh, it was yellow before and then it became white. And now it's like yellow again, or white. I don't know, bruh. We were shooting a lot of white there, see? I guess it, it might depend on the surface that you're shooting on. Or am I tripping? I don't know, that's a really dope effect though, regardless. I'm gonna get one more kill and see if it does white again. Nah, I guess it just depends on the surface, I guess. If you're in the dark... What would you do? Oh, what's a grenade launcher like? So when it comes to the grenade launcher... Yo! That is crazy! <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm about to take off my face cam for the next one. Hold on. Okay, let's go ahead and see that again. That was crazy. That is actually beautiful. 
<laughs> oh my god. Make sure you guys drop a like. That, that's probably the best part of this Cronin Squall blueprint. It has an animated effect with the drill charge underbarrel. That is actually insane, bro. Bro, that's tight, bro. I don't know if I'm just like nerding over it, but that is that's such a dope effect. But I think that is everything to find out about this bundle. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else that we're, we're missing. Oh, that's a real. That's nice that the red actually shows when you're shooting their uh, their body. Yo, their face turns uh, into an anime face when they die. Okay, let's go ahead and check out their face when they die. Watch this real quick. That is beautiful right there. That is beautiful. <laughs> Such a dope effect. And you also get other sorts of anime faces as well. It's actually crazy how good this bundle is, bro. Honestly, one of the best bundles to buy. It's an Attack 56 blueprint, so it's almost like super just, just awesome to get because everybody uses Attack 56 and it's a meta gun. You have a really cool underbarrel grenade launcher blast. And the traces themselves are cool. And this is only 1800 COD points as well. So this is probably one of the best value bundles if you're an avid TAC 56 user or an avid Corona Squall user or you like anything else in the bundle. But W bundle, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe to your channel, post notifications. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts on the bundle. I, I definitely think it's worth a cop. One of the better bundles in the game. And I can't wait because we're still in the beginning of season three. I can't wait to see what the other bundles are going to be like. Because I know there's that Damascus skin that looks crazy. I, I just can't wait. Make sure you guys stay tuned for future store bundles and other miscellaneous videos as well. I freaking love you all and keep being big ballers. Stay amazing. Oh.